Hey YouTubers, good morning, Rob Moffitt. Today we want to talk about how to fix that dreaded error message. You need to format the disk in your drive before you can use it. Um, I have recently purchased a new camera and it's been giving me a lot of trouble and I managed to record stuff and I put hooked it up to my computer and I got a stupid message that says you need to format the disk in drive D before you can use it. And yeah, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> it was formatted. Don't give me this. So if you've got the same error message, here's what you can do. Um, you can do several things. First of all, try on a different computer. Maybe it's not a problem with the disk. Maybe you just have a problem with your computer. Also, you can see if you've, your software is updated for your virus software. And maybe you've got a bug somewhere that's messing with you. If those two things aren't the issue, this may help. You can use the check disk command. That's very simple. I mean, it's, it's, it's you're going to have to go into your computer and change stuff. And uh, it's kind of scary, but don't hang in there with me. It's not that difficult. You just want to click on the window button, or if you if you have a box open for search, just press in the letters C M D. That will give you a command prompt. Now you want to right click on command prompt and allow you to open up as Run as administrator. If that's simple, you guys can do that. Now, do you want to allow this app? Yes, because it's a Windows app. It's it's not something from uh, Mongolia, nothing, you know what I'm saying, it's like, okay, let's say yes, shut up, Bob, we, we just made people from Mongolia up, upset with you, so close this box here. Now, what we want to do is we want to enter these letters, C, H, K, D, S, K, check disk, space, then the letter G, the big letter for that's the drive. If you have a problem with drive F or drive H, this is what you want to put in your F or H. I have a or had a problem with G. My drive G, I wasn't able to access the micro disk in that drive, so I put in G. Then we want a little colon, then another space, then the forward slash, then F. Then we're going to enter this information right here. C H K D S K space irony, capital G, no colon. space forward slash small f now I'm going to hit enter but nothing's going to happen because I don't have any device connected to my G or any disk in G but we're going to press enter you're going to press enter now it says cannot open volume but for you because your information on that particular drive is probably they're so small the computer will be able to check it and repair if necessary almost immediately so this is something that's going to help you almost you won't have to wait but just a couple seconds to find out if this was your problem now why if hopefully this helped you if, if it did why is this happening oftentimes when we have stuff connected to our computer instead of doing what we should do we just yank it out of the computer if we have a, a disk in the computer or our device we should be going to eject um, go here to my devices here's one uh, my D drive I don't want to eject it but let's right click it you see here this eject you would click on eject and then that would allow you to remove stuff from that particular drive so hopefully guys this information was helpful and if you got this dreaded message maybe the stuff we went over right now will help you uh, not have to uh, realize you just ruined and lost everything on that stupid drive. There's other things you can do, but but these are, I think, the top ones, the easiest ones that anybody, even a, a, a computer illiterate person like myself can do. So guys, hope that was helpful to you. I put a new videos every week. I've been doing for 15 years, got over 1,200 videos. put a new stuff every single week. You never know what you're going to find because I never know what I'm going to make. And... Uh, got a bunch of cool people I feature on my channel no relation to me down at the bottom you, you might want to check them out and like I said different different playlists different subjects different stuff variety channel you know <laughs> it's a lonely channel and nobody watches variety channels but anyway hope that was helpful to you guys I'm rambling here all right guys take care see you out there